beautiful day in the neighborhood, or the burn yard, rather, as usual. We got the boys. Chris Miller. He's the newest face here. Oh, hit him. You gotta hit him with a you gotta pose? You gotta pose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very familiar with Chris. Yeah, I know. Second place world champion. Man, I love that. And then we got Design Daddy John Chase. I'm gonna, I'm changing my name now, though. What's up, what? Fat Man? Changing my name. What's up, Fat Man? Changing my name to the fastest LS powered supercharged fuel injected 55 gas or Norco. There you go. You've been hanging out with Brad too long. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Zach acting natural. <laughs> <laughs> just, just acting natural. Yeah, you know, You're just chilling in the burn yard. Finally, we get to see the C10 do some stuff. Yeah, boy. Hello, sir. How you doing? Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the burn yard. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Nice to meet you all. My name is Zach Mertens. This is my <laughs> 1974 C10. Working on this bad boy for a while, man. I'm glad to see it done. Yeah, man. It's been it was sitting in a shop space for like basically eight months, and uh, it's With getting parts all in the back. There was a mountain of parts in the back. Yeah, it took a long time because you know working after work. It's still missing like you know quite a bit of stuff, but it's it's functional. Hey, let's be honest. They're never done. They're yeah. done for the time being. Yeah. That's it. You haven't beat on this thing yet. No. You just got it off the dyno. Yeah. Sorry, let's so, talk about it. What year is it? What should... All right, so it's a 1974 Chevy C10. So that means it's pre-smog, which is good stuff. Yeah, pretty that's smog. that's pretty money. Yeah. So that's why you can have this uh, chop machine over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not having to have a catalytic converter is, is a big deal. But the whole build was basically made around this this Texas Speed 434 cubic inch re-sleeved Gen 4 GM horsepower machine. It's a lot of words. Yeah. It's basically like an LS3 block, right? So all aluminum. They cut the sleeves out of it, put dart and steel sleeves in it, big old stroker crank, forge rotating assembly. Top it off with some of their PRC uh, 260cc heads and uh, one of the sheet metal intakes and it parties. So this is one of Texas Speed's like turnkey motors, right? I am not an engine builder. I'm not a car builder. This is the first car I've ever put together. So Good I job, wasn't- though. Yeah, you know, nice, nice work. I didn't want to screw up like the most important thing, like the, the engine or transmission or anything like that. So I wanted to make sure I could get something that I knew it was gonna work, and then it had a warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you being an adult. Most of us be like, it looks cool. Who gives a shit if it runs? Yeah. So wait, you got a warranty. Yeah. And you have air conditioning. Oh. Air, yes. It's a surprising feeling to like basically tear everything out of it, and then shove a bunch of shit that wasn't meant for it in it, and then turn the key over and it started. So I didn't watch your Dino episode yet. How much power did you make? We had some issues with the Dino. Oh. Uh, but I mean, it put down 530. Right, which is okay. That's great. That's, that's, a, that's a good number. Everyone so, needs to get off the horsepower. You got a motor, put it in your car, yeah. took it to the dyno, made 500 horsepower. There, there that's, that sounds like a good thing. Yeah. yeah. But dyno uh, feels super sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. But it's not just the motor. It's no, not no, just. No. So, you got the, the, the tech speed motor. It's got a Gearstar Pro 4L80E. It's their like level four transmission. So it can hold up to 800 pound feet of torque and it shifts like super hard, which is great. And then it's got a uh, Curry nine inch out back. If you get like the motor and everything in, it's just use a bunch of Holly uh, LS swap parts. The thing about these is like this whole truck is basically bolt-ons, right? So everything was just, there was barely any fabrication needed. Right, uh, that's nice. 
Yeah. That's definitely the cool thing about building American vehicles with American V8s. Uh, suspensions, all QA1 coilovers. All the uh, tubular arms, uh, every bushing has been replaced. The rear is the cool part because they make this new torque arm kit. You basically get this whole torque arm style setup, kind of like you would in like a Camaro or Firebird. And then you can run coilovers in the rear without having a four link. You do have like lower trailing, or uh, would it be trailing arms, right? Did everybody just leave? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's super sick, very adjustable, comes with a full like adjustable Panhard bar and you got rebound and compression dampening on the uh, coilovers and stuff. So. so it's a race truck? Yes, almost everything's been changed. The one thing I didn't do and I'm kicking myself in the ass for is that I didn't box the frame. So I can't weld, again, I've never like, you know, built a car or anything or fabricated in my life. So uh, these tend to like flex a lot. So now everything's like super rigid and stiff, except for the frame. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to really get after it. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's a '74 on the outside, but on the inside and underneath it, it's pretty yeah. baller. But yeah, I wanted to keep the outside looking like real nice and shitty because uh, I'm not good at taking care of stuff. You got a name for this thing? Oh, I do. And yeah. you gave it to me. Yeah. Like whatever your, your vehicle is, you got to give it a name, something that is just fitting. And Zach was having troubles. Yeah. So and, and he had just done these boom tubes. The new name of this truck, and I think it's fitting, is Boomhauer. Talking about a nice car, man. I'm living trying to five. Oh, that's good. That's good. How sick is that? That's fire, right? On the inside, <laughs> like it's all still stock, except for the Dakota digital gauges and, of course, like the vintage air system. <laughs> And then I've got the Moon Eyes footprint gas pedal out of Vinny's C10. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous. I really wanted that. Uh, what about the Johnny's? Oh, well, yeah. Some, uh, the 20s? No, they 10s. I bought them from somebody, but they ten, they they nice, though. Yeah, yeah. Detroit Steel Wheel smoothies. I don't have the center caps in them. The coolest part about this damn truck is that some a guy hit me up on, uh, on Instagram and was like, hey, you want some boom tubes off of a NASCAR stock car? Yes. And I was like, well, hell yeah. So that's what Hank sounds like. <laughs> Woo! You're finally living up to your chop ratings. Thanks, man. That's good. Appreciate you. Is it time to party? Can we party? Time to party. All right. Party time? This is party time. Time. Shout out JH Audio. These are awesome. You ready? with you. Back her up and let her no, do it. I just need to stop so you can see. Yeah, we can't see nothing. Yo, this thing is a monster. Hey, Boomhauer lives up to the name. Yeah. This thing's a beast. It's good. That's, that's not 500 horsepower. It's good. That's more than 500 horsepower. What are you doing? <laughs> you wait. wait you shirt I breathed in so much smoke that I threw up on my shirt. You threw up. <laughs> How does this happen? I couldn't breathe. I you, was, you go I was, you know, I was, I was right time. behind her, and I was like, I, I can't see. And I tried to breathe, <laughs> and I threw up all over my shirt, and then I found my way out. Oh man! I was literally lost in here, throwing up. Chris, I'm so glad you're here now. <laughs> Chris, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm sorry about you throwing up, but that's fucking hilarious. That was crazy. It was crazy. Threw up on your shirt. I was terrified for my life. Oh, man. Well, yeah, it was instantaneous. Well, he's about to rip it again. Oh, again? Again? Oh, yeah. That was just a warm up. Oh, wow. Okay. You ready?
respect for Zach. Just been Seriously, yeah. you threw up on your shirt. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>